Okay, it's now midday on the 19th and we're doing Union Furnace. Union Furnace is a linear trail, meaning it's got no loops. It's just one trail head in, comes out at another location. As you can see on the sign, there's a little Highlands Trail. And that's one of the main reasons for this trail existing. This is a segment of the trail coming down from Voorhees, um, hits Lyle, uh, Van Sickle Road, enters Union Furnace, and then comes out on Serpentine Drive, where it then continues down into Spruce Run. There is no county parking lot for Union Furnace. There is a lot on the other side of the road that's part of Spruce Run. Um, <clears throat> so for me, the purpose of Furnace is if for through hiking. Um, if you wanted to park here, but just off of 31 in Van Sickle, you could place one car here, the other in the interior of Spruce Run, and then do about a two, th three mile hike from this location into the interior of Spruce Run or vice versa. We'll walk the trail, um, see what we can find up towards the knoll. There are occasionally um, some points where you can see out into Spruce Run Reservoir, but again, they are best seen in the winter time when the leaves are down. Okay, this is Greenbrier. It is a thorny vegetation, but not multiflora. This is technically native. But one of the things you'll notice about the thorn is that it's perpendicular to the stem, 90 degrees. Multiflora is like a shark fin with a hooking sweep. But again, this does the same job of multiflora whereas it creates a dense vegetation um, around you and then again has the thorns to keep per, um, herbivores from trying to crush it. But again, different from Motoflora, does the same type of jobs, provides the same type of habitat structure in the woods but the thorn structure is completely different along with a general ovate circular type of leaf pattern. Okay, what I'm trying to do is just take a moment to show you the thorn on Multiflora Rose since I referenced it with the Greenbrier to show you what I meant by the shark fin feature and that it's sort of a swept hook or swept thorn on the stem. Not going to say anything more. I know I talked about this tree and others, but this is the seed pod of the tulip tree. In time, this will open up and offer many type of wing seeds that will disperse from it, giving it sort of a tulip shape when before they disperse. But again, just showing you that, again, as I mentioned with the walks for um, Muscanica Mountain, late summer, fall is the time that many of the trees are creating their seed pods or other structures to disperse their, for lack of a better word, young to nature to try to spread their genetics out over the environment. Okay. okay another thing I found on the forest floor is this old leaf gall. You can still see the leaf attached to it. I think it was a sweet gum. But again, this grew as a growth on the leaf. Insects grew inside it. And then as you can see by that hole, that's where they sort of ate their way through and then emerged out into the environment. 
So why they were eggs and growing? They were actually siphoning nutrients through the leaf and the tree um, to maintain their young stage. And then again, as they turned into an adult, emerged to the hole and left into the environment to begin to repeat the process. You can see over on the, the side of the slope that there's sort of a stone wall. Union Furnace gets its name because it was a forge in the revolutionary time making munitions for the Revolutionary War. Um, the remains of that forge are now actually under Spruce Run Reservoir, but there is an old channel through our preserve that offers um, probably some good amphibian habitat in springtime by pulling water. But this was one of the means that they actually channeled water to the forge to work the devices needed by the water mill and to operate the forge. Today it's now, as, as I said, unmaintained and backed up because when the reservoir was created, much of the landscape in this area was re-altered and changed from its past history. If you catch it quick enough, you can actually find a historical marker for the Union Furnace along Van Sickle um, adjacent to our property. Okay, in my hand again, um, and if you walk this trail, you'll notice the hickory trees, but these are hickory nuts. Hickory nuts are a four-shelled nut. So inside this is the actual nut. And again, primarily used by small rodents, chipmunk squirrels, um, as a food source. and again by seeing the different colors this one's still green this is a recent fall out of the tree um, so their nuts are being made and again eaten and dispersed or buried for the winter time by the squirrels and the chipmunks okay everyone knows what's in my hands are acorns but these actually are two species. You can actually do acorns um, the way you do leaves. There's enough difference in them that you can get to a species. This acorn here and the other in my hand are that of the northern red oak. Okay, they will get a large nut section in time that protrudes from the cap. And the cap is relatively thin compared to the length of the nut. Most white oaks don't have sort of a blunt cap like this. A, they have a much more domed structure around the nut. And again, many of the red oak family members have caps that are lightly scaled, whereas the white oaks are more of a loosely aligned um, distributed scale pattern on top of the nut. Also what's nearby is another seed structure. These are the an old ball from a sycamore tree because again uh, Union Furnace is where the spruce run comes down and actually joins the spruce run reservoir and this structure here is probably over five to six hundred seeds that are dispersed by wind because this would have eventually broken up and each one of these little follicle structures off of the ball is a seed structure and it disperses a lot like the dandelion on as I said on the wind. I'm at the high point of the trail, technically about 30 yards, 40 yards ahead of me right now is actually the, what I believe to be the high point, but you'll know you arrived at the point when you see the one rock formation up atop of Union Furnace. 
it is a very good st hard climb it should get your heart part pumping without any problem um, but one of the reasons for coming up this far is like at Stanton Station when you get up here you notice a unique end to the vegetation line with the understory and then you see all the openness of the wood lots and I feel it's two parts one is again we're now sort of on the north side of the rise and sunlight's not hitting the ground so there's not much direct sunlight for the young vegetation secondly being the north slope it's a rockier type of terrain less soil production and because it's been blown away without the vegetation or ero eroded away without the vegetation so there's not as much soil material for plant material to bite into for the rootstock. So it is a unique, distinctive line you can see by walking the trail of Union Furnace. Also, Union Furnace has the potential for some trail growth. We've had some recent additions to the property, but at this time, we just don't have the manpower or the staff to put any type of trail structure in place so maybe in time a loop will develop up here but for now a portion of this property will remain unexplored um, because of time constraints and walking i am recalling the end of the walk here i will grab a video at the end of the trailhead so you can see where you would come out on Serpentine Drive. But anything beyond this video is actually walking back to the van. Okay, I know the 31 is very noisy, um, but hopefully you're seeing enough. As I mentioned, the Spruce Run is adjacent to this property and runs through it. A run is another name for a creek or small waterway, so you don't need to say Spruce Run Creek. But it is the second major tributary that runs into Spruce Run. The three main tributaries, again, first off, are the south branch of the Raritan River, the Spruce Run, and then on the western side, the Mohawkaway Creek. Um, and that is what fills up the reservoir, which is about 11 billion gallons when I believe it's at capacity. Okay, this is where you will come out of the trail at Furnace onto Serpentine Drive. You will then head down the road away from the houses that you come out at and come back down to Van Sickle Road where you will cross over the road into the parking lot of Spruce Run and then continue on the Highlands Trail into Spruce Run proper. So again, if you were to do this, um, for me, Furnace is best used as a walkthrough, planting a car at either end and walking with a friend or two. And that way there is no backtracking over um, a trail that you've walked once and then you could always do it another day going in a different direction but again hopefully you'll visit Union Furnace and take advantage of the highlands and enter into the trail system of Spruce Run hopefully again it's coming out but I'm giving you a test tree it's an understory. I believe I talked about it on the musky walk. But it's known for this muscle like pattern in the bark. Its leaf is actually nondescript, just a sort of a simple oval. Never gets very big. As you can see, it's not that wide 
uh, maybe three inches on that branch about six seven inches for the main trunk and if you were to try to cut it it would dull your blade I tried to give you a clue with the muscle pattern if you figured it out by now it's called muscle wood also called iron wood its proper name is actually hornbeam but again it grows in sort of the northern slopes poor soil conditions and it uses its basically strength to hold on but it is a very dense wood material